On September 13, 2011, Thomas Keene, chair of the 9-11 Commission and former governor of New Jersey, gave a lecture for the Drew Forum, a series of public lectures at Drew University located in Madison, New Jersey. We Are Change was tipped off to the event by YouTube user Freedom Fighter 28 and attended. After the lecture, a question and answer session was opened up to the audience. When We Are Change asked Thomas Keene to address the collapse of World Trade Center Building 7, which was not hit by a plane and was not mentioned once in the 9-11 Commission report, his answer was simply shocking. Building 7 was not part of the World Trade Center. It was next door. Uh, and we had questions from probably you and some other people. How did Building 7 collapse then? So I'm not an architect in any way or other. I don't, I'm not a builder, I don't know about these things. So we asked the Bureau of Standards to investigate. And they did a report, which you can get hold of, and they said it, that Building 7 collapsed from the aftershocks of, of that planes going into those buildings. It was so weakened in its foundations that it then collapsed. Keene claims the Bureau of Standards' final report on the collapse of World Trade Center Building 7 found that aftershocks from the planes hitting the Twin Towers caused the foundation of Building 7 to weaken and collapse. First, it is important to note that the National Bureau of Standards changed its name back in 1988 to the National Institute of Standards and Technology, or NIST. Second, nowhere in NIST's final report does it say that aftershocks from the impact of the planes into the Twin Towers caused or even had a factor in the collapse of Building 7. In fact, NIST claims Building 7 was brought down by fire. World Trade Center 7 collapsed because of fires. Fire-induced progressive collapse. However, NIST's final report has come under harsh criticism from highly reputable sources. A recent documentary released by architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth, which you can watch for free right now, details meticulously the flaws and illogical conclusions brought forward by NIST. NIST would have us to believe that, uh, that these were it was a typical office fire, scattered office fires, if you will, that brought this building down. Steel structural frame buildings, high-rise buildings, simply do not collapse due to fire. There have been fires burned longer in similar structures without any collapse. The Meridian Bank building is a 38-story skyscraper that burned for 18 hours in 1991, suffered extensive damage from the fire, but did not collapse. NIST themselves have to recognize the implications of this. The fact that they haven't is fraudulent. I think it's time for a real 9-11 investigation. This is Dustin DeLells reporting for WeAreChange.org.